Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here today for a kind of random video. So today we are doing a bit of DIYs. We are doing some new furniture and then we're also painting our master bedroom. If you're new here, um, quite a while ago, I would say about a month ago, kind of recent but not so recent, we did a master bedroom makeover in our new house where we created this feature wall. Um, and we painted everything white and recently i just i've been feeling like i need something to break it up and instagram knows this first so if you don't follow me on instagram go ahead and do that i'll leave my handle down below but this is how the room looked before and i basically wanted something to break it up so um i went to home depot and i showed you guys a ton of neutral colors and you guys voted for Studio Taupe, which I was so happy about because that's the one that I was leaning towards anyway. And so that is what we're going to be starting off with. I'm just taping off everything and then me and my husband are going to go ahead and tackle this wall. And you guys, it made literally such a difference. It's crazy how painting only one wall can change the whole look of a room and I'm so excited because Christmas decorating is coming soon, come November and... Now I feel like I can finally decorate. I also got a TV now in our bedroom. Um, in this footage, I, I didn't have one, but now I got a TV. I feel like the wall's more of my style and we are making progress. So here I am just, we're cutting in first. We always do the um, cutting in first and then we paint the rest of the wall, which by the way, I found it super hard to cut in um, on these baseboards because I never painted a room with carpet. So I was just using my little acrylic brush. Let me know down below what you do when you're painting a room with carpet. So we just finished the second coat and it's already like five o'clock. So as always, I always plan for these projects and I think that they're going to take way um, less time than they do and they always go over. But I'm loving the color when it dries. When it dried after the first coat, it looked way less splotchy, but there were still a little bit of splotches. So this is the second, second coat and it just looks like that because it's wet. Once it dries, it's going to all even out. And then tomorrow, we're going to sleep in the guest room today, and then tomorrow we'll put back all the furniture and show you guys the finished look. I can already tell, like, I don't know if you guys can see the vision, but I can already tell that this is going to look so much better, and it might even go with my fall decor, and I might actually be happy with this room, because you guys know I wasn't satisfied after I decorated for fall. It was something about this wall and the all white and the fall colors that just was not giving, so, so excited about this color. Thank you guys for choosing this. So now I'm just taking off all of the painter's tape. Well, whatever I could, I ended up having to wait for my husband to come home on this day to take like the ones that I couldn't reach up top. But I must admit that when I was painting this, at first it looked so dark and I was like, oh no, I didn't know if I wanna, wanted to go this dark. The um, car that I got from Home Depot didn't look this dark at all, but I ended up loving it after looking at everything together. I even love the fall decor a little more now that the wall is painted, but definitely let me know down below what you guys think if you like the white wall better or this. Now shooting over straight to the DIY this is like a get it all done type of video so excuse the fast pace but um, I wanted my husband to build a blanket ladder for me reason being they are so expensive the one that I wanted was like $80 so I thought we could try making it we just got some wood from Home Depot excuse the footage you 
you get the point. My husband just put everything together. He cut the the little pieces for the middle and then he just screwed it all in. He was recording this footage um, while I was sleeping. He woke up super early. So thank you to him. But he's just not good with the camera. He doesn't know how to work it. So he put it all together. And then I just used painter's tape to wrap everything in the middle because I wanted to do two tones. So you guys voted for this on Instagram as well, whether I should do all black or wooden tones. And it was kind of 50-50. So I decided to do the sides black with the spray paint and the middle stain it a, a wooden tone. And I love the way it turned out. This is how it turned out before. And then I went ahead and um, stained it with, I forgot the color. I'll try to leave it down below, but I love the way it turned out. And again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me there because they always get the sneak peeks over there. So as if you watched my fall house tour and I kind of give you guys updates, I do want to do um, like custom shelving on either side of this mantle and also finish the mantle. We DIY this if you guys are new here. And, um, but until then, I really wanted something to fill the spaces. So for Christmas, on the other side, the tree is going to be there. So for here, um, I knew I wanted something. So I'm loving this blanket letter. So now we're just going to be replacing this buffet table. You guys know if you were here since we moved in, this buffet table was a Facebook marketplace find. It was like 20 bucks and I just painted it white and spray painted the black hardware. It was supposed to be temporary. It's not the size of this little area here, um, but we didn't have the money to get all new furniture and we already spent most of our furniture on the bigger ticket items. Um, I mean, we already spent most of our money on the bigger ticket ticket items, but the bottom of that is super chip. So I was so excited when Cosway reached out to work with me yet again. I've been working with them quite a few times already. Um, quite a lot, I mean. But um, I'm in love with this buffet that they sent me. It actually fits this like little area perfectly in terms of width. And it has way more storage. So thank you to Cosway for sending me this. I was so excited when they reached out because I knew I needed a new buffet. So, um, yeah, it was super easy to build and honestly on their website, you can literally find anything. You just type whatever you need on in the search bar and you will literally find it. Um, I worked with them for my garage, like declutter makeover for the garage shelves. I work with them for the barbecue that I did. Um, I work with them for, well, for the barbecue that I did, I had um, a tent that they sent me, like one of those outdoor wedding tents. And also I worked with them for um, an exercise bike. So they literally have all different types of things at such great prices. So I'll leave information and a discount code in the description if you guys want to check out Cosway. But yeah, and then I'm just decorating this and I'm going to show you guys the end clips of everything. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it was kind of like a fast paced, get it all done and short and sweet. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, seeing these little updates that I did in the house. And definitely, if you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button because so much exciting things are coming up. We have Christmas decorating coming. We have just a bunch of stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys in my next one. God willing, as always, thank you for watching.